If you open your eyes and ears over the course of these next few weeks, you are going to experience something miraculous in nature. Birds are around us every day, but you have the opportunity to see species that are only here for short windows of time. We're talking about bird migration. Today, I'm gonna to give you tips on how to find birds and identify species so that we can get ready for migration. This week, I'm gonna challenge you to just find five species. Over the next few weeks, you're gonna see kinds of birds that you normally don't see. Where do these birds all of a sudden come from? This is the time of the year when birds move from the south up north. It's really incredible when you think about it. Some of these birds weigh no more than a ketchup packet. You know how when you go to a fast food restaurant and you have those little packets of ketchup? That is how much some birds weigh. Their bones are hollow and lightweight. This is what allows them to fly. Migration is when animals move from one area to another over long distances. The reason why birds do this is because of food. The food sources like the fruits and plants or the insects coming out are seasonal. So birds are traveling up north to get those food sources. And while they're here, they're gonna build nests and they're gonna lay eggs and have babies. They follow these seasonal cycles according to food abundance. Last week on the Wildlife Biology for Kids Club, we talked about providing food sources for wildlife naturally. These are the kinds of food sources that birds follow during migration. This week, I'm gonna challenge you to find five different kinds of birds. You can do this in your backyard, a nearby park, any area outdoors. Even if you're in the city, there's birds like pigeons. Birds are everywhere. They're on every continent, including Antarctica. Once you start looking for birds, you'll realize how many species there are and you'll want to keep finding more. In future videos, we'll talk about how to do this. Today, I'm gonna to give you tips on how to find new kinds of birds. The best time to look for birds is early morning, around dawn until 11 a.m. But birds are out at all times. Even at nighttime, there's owls. So there's really no bad time to bird. You're gonna use your observation skills, especially sight and sound. When looking for birds, you wanna make sure to scan branches and look for movement. Focus in on this movement and look to see what's causing it. If you look at it long enough, you can usually make out what it is. So you don't have to see the bird at first. Make sure to look at all parts of the habitat. From high in the treetops, to the ground level and shrubs. Birds are found everywhere. It's a great idea to bring binoculars so that you can see the birds better. My next tip is to use your listening skills. For a lot of birds, you will hear them before you see them. I hear a bunch right now. What you do is follow the sound and then you can visually see what the bird looks like to identify it. In future videos, I'll show you how to use an app that identifies birds by their song alone. Birds can move fast, so once you see it, make sure you pay attention to these things. First, note the dominant colors. Try to focus in on the three main colors. See if you can notice any flashes of color. Maybe there's a little bit of red on its head or its belly. Note its overall size. Is it smaller, medium-sized, or bigger? Pay attention to what kind of beak it has. Bird bills vary a lot in shape and size. Is the bill sharp and pointy, or is it rounded like a duck's? Is it curved? thick or is it really thin? Bring your nature journal along and if you're able to watch the bird long enough, draw a picture of it. What habitat is it found in? Is it in a water area like a wetland or a lake or is it more of a dry area? Understanding where the bird is in the habitat also helps you ID it. Is the bird perched high in a tree or is it low to the ground? Pay attention to what the bird is doing. Some species have unique behaviors. Maybe they flick their tail or they fly around a lot. They're not sitting still that much. These little behaviors will help you identify species. To identify birds, you can purchase a field guide or use Merlin's free step-by-step -step ID app. A great tip for finding a lot of different kinds of birds is going to what is called edge habitat. This is where two different types of habitats meet. Edge habitat like this, where a more forested area, 
meets a more open area is a great place to find lots of species. You'll also be able to see them better. Once you start watching birds, you'll want to keep going. You'll realize there are so many species out there to discover. I'm challenging you to find at least five. Let me know in the comment what cool species you were able to see. To get the worksheets and guided activities associated with this video, enroll in the Wildlife Biology for Kids Club. You'll get access to the downloadable PDFs with questions to guide your child's curiosity. You'll be able to print out worksheets with step-by-step -step instructions and these pointers, as well as spaces for them to document their findings. You'll also get connected with a community of individuals excited to go outside, share their findings, and get inspired to discover more with your child.